Zur is in the Winding Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling two armor sets. The first one being the Illicit Sentry armor and the Pathfinder armor, which is really cool. I will show you guys both armors right now and how they shader right now so we can get that out of the way because I don't want to have two armor pieces while we're looking at the armor. So first and foremost, I personally really like the Titan uh, Pathfinder set. Uh, the illicit sentry stuff is cool. We've already reviewed it multiple times in this channel, specifically when Zer brings them. So I'm not going to talk too much about this one, but specifically, specifically the best pieces for me would probably be the helmet, uh, the boots, maybe the chest piece if you're going for a tactical look. And that's pretty much it. Uh, how it shaders is not really my favorite shadering. Uh, it, it's not terrible, but it's like not the best either. So again, the helmet, I think is just going to be the, the, like the primo one for me for the Pathfinder stuff. I think the helmet, the boots, and even the chest piece are all usable with the helmet probably being the better piece from the whole set and the arm and Mark are probably like the weakest pieces. So again, this one shaders really well. The only thing that's unfortunate is that the glow on the helmet is kind of desaturated sometimes. So, uh, but other than that, I've used this helmet in multiple looks and like just recently, I used it for, for my Heart of Inmost light build, uh, which you guys can see right here. But as for the armor itself, we're going to be looking at really high resilience, which is really nice. And at 9 recovery, which is not terrible, you can bump up the recovery for a 19. So a 20, 19, 10, 14. That's pretty actually good. I probably would pick this one up. Uh, for the arms, too high mobility personally. The too high mobility, um, very mediocre. This is really mediocre arm or boots for the pathfinder stuff i will probably ignore this one I'm, I'm not really liking the stats at all ignore this one as well ignore this one and this one's fine like the strength is really high mind you but a six recovery is pretty terrible if it was an eight i would be like this is fine like 18 uh, it'll be an 18 once you master work this, if, assuming you put a recovery mod on this. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, personally, I would probably pick up the Pathfinder stuff over the Illicit Sentry stuff just because the Illicit Sentry, or specifically the Illicit's armor, does come pretty frequently. And the Pathfinder is just the better option for me personally. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. As for the Warlocks, I think the Illicit uh, Sentry stuff, specifically the helmet is really good. The chest piece is usable. Uh, the bond will not change color. Just be aware of that. And the arm and the boots are just kind of like basic to me. For the Pathfinder stuff, I think the helmet is the best piece. Like legitimately the best piece. I use this in multiple videos. Uh, the arms are really good if you want to go for, for like an electrical technological look. And I think the chest piece is mediocre. I think the arms are usable if you want to go for a very simplistic look and the boots are meh. So they shader really well, aside from, again, the illicit sentry stuff. It's like very hit or miss. But for the Pathfinder stuff, it, it shaders really well. Like most of the time it, you're going to see the colors that you're going to want to see with certain shaders. So, yeah, thankfully, I don't really have to say too much about this one. As for the armor set itself, the illicit sentry stuff. Ooh, 23 recovery, 20 intellect. This is pretty decent. Uh, I would probably bump up the resilience for a 16. That way I can have a 18, 25, 9, 22. When I master work this, that'd be pretty nice. I didn't ignore the chest piece. Uh, 25 recovery. Wow. Uh, discipline's pretty good because once you bump it up to a plus 10 and 22, mm, it's a pretty good helmet for, for grenade build um mediocre <sighs> this one i would probably bump the bump up the recovery because of resilience you'll at least get a plus one which is nice but intellect you'll almost get a plus three which is nasty so that's pretty cool uh, i'd ignore the pathfinder stuff or the hump the chest piece specifically i'd ignore this and even more worse okay even more worse even worse so for the illicit sentry stuff again like i think the helmet's going to be the best piece from this whole set um for the pathfinder stuff the helmet is also going to be the best piece from this set but also don't ignore the bond which is really good the arm is really good for a very simplistic look like i said uh, let me just 
real quick see if this one is okay so it is symmetrical which is really good uh but yeah i think the i think the chest piece is like really really boring unfortunately like they could have really gone all out with the chest piece but the chest piece to me just just boring uh warlocks let me know what you guys think which what pieces are you gonna, gonna be picking up let me know in the comments below and last but not least we have the hunters which i think for the illicit century stuff i think the helmet's gonna be the best piece and that's pretty much it actually i don't think any of the other pieces are worth a grab um although if you want to have it for collections then i think that's probably a smart choice because you might never know one of these pieces just might look good in one in a set that you're trying to go for but for me the helmet is probably the best piece from this whole set for the pathfinder stuff i think damn near everything's really good i think the arm's really good if you want to go for like a leather look the chest piece is decent the cloak is probably the worst piece from the whole set but the helmet is legitimately one of the best helmets if you want to go for like a knight look or like a royal look very like the one of my favorite helmets for the hunter and the boots also really good if you want to go for like a very simplistic like almost uh minimalistic hunter and i've done this for i think a few videos specifically the one that comes to mind is the uh the srl look that i made but yeah as for the shading situation again like i said the sentry stuff is going to be really terrible most of the time aside from like pieces like the helmet where it's just the yellow that doesn't change color but that's really for all of the pieces so whatever for the pathfinder stuff i think a lot of it's really good the helmet is by far my favorite how it shaders how it takes glows it's it's damn near perfect i'm gonna tell you guys right now so as for the armor we're gonna be looking at mm, i i don't know how i feel about this one a 10 a 10 a 10 if you put it another 10 on recovery you'll have a one on almost everything but i mean like having a one on almost everything is usually not that great for me uh chest piece 19 mobility which is pretty eh, this is really high uh i'd probably ignore this one too oh i'm just this one's decent only because resilience is at nine and if you bump the bump up the mobility to a plus 10 then you have a 16 9 17 which is nice because you'll have a, at least a plus one on resilience which you usually never see for for hunters hunters you'll usually have high mobility and high recovery but never high resilience never those three which is very fucking aggravating um it's the same thing as the last one yeah you'll have a plus one and everything but it's like eh for the pathfinder stuff ooh. Well, no well i don't know like if you bump up the recovery to a plus 10 then you have a 14 20 20 which is uh, i don't know this one's terrible um terrible and terrible so hunters let me know what you guys think which pieces are you going to be picking up if you listen to anything i say at that pick up the helmet at least pick up the fucking pathfinder helmet because legitimately this is like one of my favorite helmets in the game i use this helmet a lot because it's just so fucking good but again i think all of these pieces are worth a pickup if you can afford it because again it is 50 each which is 250 which means all of this would be 500 on each character meaning 1500 in total which is kind of stupid when you think about it but you know whatever uh, as for the weapons uh, we have a uh, Chrysura Mellow with dynamic dynamic sway reduction and demolitionist, which no cold denial with threat to I'm not even look at that. Grid skipper slideways and frenzy. This is decent. I definitely would pick this one up. Uh, seven star CQC with quick draw and snapshot sites, which is pretty wild. I'm gonna tell you guys right now that this is legitimately one of my favorite shotguns in the game. Uh, specifically for this one clip that I'll show you guys right now, I i had the nastiest kill with a shotgun and to this day it, it still like makes me feel gross looking at it because i had no business po popping out my shotgun that fast so this is legitimately one of my favorite shotguns in the game um i really don't have anything else to say unfortunately you can't get this uh ornament anymore because you have to be there but yeah let me know what you guys think. Uh, Ikelos with Feeding Friendly Disruption. I'm going to ignore that. Code Duo with Auto Loading Holster and Unrelenting. 
and stars in shadow with brave robert and thresh so i think the shotgun is like the only piece that you really should get to be fair like the god roll for me this is close to the god roll because it is missing a few things for me personally to call it a god roll specifically like assault mag and full choke that's those are two uh perks that i really like on shotguns but i mean it's qu quick draw and snapshot sites is still really good as for the exotics we have hawk moon with snapshot sites which is interesting and another snapshot sites roll for dead man's tail uh we have queen breaker which is trash lucky pants which Looks like high trash, not gonna lie. Uh, insurmountable skull fort, which, ooh, this is high trash too. And even more high trash. Well, I shouldn't say that, it's fine. It's like ones, but it's not that great. Let's see what trash I get today because I'm definitely gonna get trash. You know, if this wasn't nerfed back in fucking season of the worthy, I would actually be excited for it. Um, resilience is pretty good. I mean, once I masterwork it, 22, 16, 16. It's fine. It's nothing to cry about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am working on some content right now. Um, actually, let's actually look at something real quick. Let's look at Eververse because I didn't do it this week. And my Zer videos usually pick up a lot of traction. So for this week, I also do apologize that I didn't do it. It's just I had work uh, technically. So Amethyst Bloom for the shader, which is not my favorite shader we have splicer gauntlet projection scene clapper and nucleus shell which i think looks pretty cool i just would never pick this up and for the bottom stuff we have the rasputin projection we have a new ornament for the jotun which is multiple uh pop i'm not gonna say that it's fine i'm not gonna pick it up because it just looks terrible but i mean if you like it we have the junkyard navigator which is I want to like this and I do like it. It's just that I would want to combine it with the other junkyard stuff. We have the Chelsea Vis Ugh, bro. What is up with these stupid names? Um, be aware that the purple doesn't change color. So yeah, just be aware of that. We have the ad ad additive, uh, shell, which does the, does the thing change color? It does change color. Oh, I gotta go. See. I gotta see that with, the. Uh, Oh God, this does look really cool though. Like actually, oh, the white doesn't change color though. Mm, whatever. We have Kofer Correction. Okay. We have Gong Show. Okay. And for the shaders, we have um, Meditator, which is, oof, not good. Uh, first light, which is, I'm not a fan of the green. We have Chrome stock, which is a blue and white, which is end of brass, uh, whatever. And then flex, this is going to be trash. Yeah. I'm not a fan. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I do apologize that I didn't do this, but, uh, I did start my job this week and it's, uh, it's interesting to say the least. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me, links are in the description below. Uh, yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.